Looking to protect your cards? Whether you need sleeves, deck boxes, binders, playmats, or even backpacks, Ultimate Guard has your collection covered. Literally. Premium products offering priceless protection. Visit ultimateguard.com. Hello and welcome to another Historic Games video. Today we're having some fun in the play queue with a Monoret Trash for Treasure artifact deck that's looking to cheat a Grass Unstoppable Juggernaut into place early as turn 3. The 8 mana 7 5 Legendary Juggernaut says Juggernauts we control attack each combat if able, Juggernauts we control cannot be blocked by walls, and other creatures we control have a base, power, and toughness 5 3 and are Juggernauts in addition to their other creature types. So a call back to the original Juggernaut, which used to be quite good back in the day. So Grass will turn all our random creatures into huge 5 3 attackers, which can hopefully close out a game in a couple attacks. So we're not planning to cast the grass for 8 mana, instead Trash for Treasure can bring it back from our graveyard. A 3 mana sorcery has an additional cost to cast it, we have to sacrifice an artifact to return an artifact card from our graveyard to the battlefield. And then besides our Juggernaut, we can also cheat a Platinum Angel into play, a 4-4 Flyer saying we cannot lose the game and your opponents cannot win the game. This will shine against some creature combo decks like Mono Green Elves that can quickly present a lethal board, but may not have removal for the Platinum Angel unless they have a 1 of Boseju. And then we also have a 1 of Copy of Portal to Phyrexia, this one's a lot more important. As it enters, the opponent has to sacrifice 3 creatures, so very good against a lot of creature decks in the format. And at the beginning of our upkeep, we can bring back a creature from any graveyard onto the battlefield under our control, so in some slower matchups we can also get the portal in play first, then discard grass and then bring it back if we don't expect grass to win the game very quickly. And then of course we need some much cheap artifacts to sacrifice to our trash for treasure, besides four copies of Dark Seal Citadel in the mana base, which is also very helpful, could also replace it with a treasure vault, but indestructible can have a random upside. Then we also have four copies of the Voldaren Apicure, a 1-1 that when it enters deals one to the opponent and creates a blood token, so we can sacrifice the blood token to a trash for treasure, can also use it to maybe discard some of our expensive artifacts to then later bring back, and the Apicure as a 1-1 creature can eventually turn into a 5-3 with grass, so it does a lot of different things for the deck. And then we also have four copies of Faithless Looting, to draw two and then discard two, can even flash it back from the graveyard for two in a red, so another way of discarding our expensive artifacts and digging for our trash. And then we also have four copies of Synthesizer, which we typically don't want to play on turn one, unless we're guaranteed to require an artifact on turn three to set up our trash for treasure, since we will exile the top card of our library when Synthesizer enters a battlefield, and we can play that card until the end of our turn, so we can also play a lands, so ideally we play Synthesizer before playing our land for the turn, in case we exile one of those. And then the more mana we have available, the better, since we're more likely to be able to play whatever we exile. And for 2 in a red, we can sacrifice Synthesizer to make a 2-2 Vigil and Samurai token, and then once again exile the top card of our library. So if we sacrifice Synthesizer to any other effects, we'll also still be able to generate card advantage with it. Then we've got some cheap removal with our 4 copies of Voltage Surge, can deal 2 or 4 damage if we sacrifice an artifact, so another way to maybe set up our Synthesizer. And then at 2 mana there's a full set of Scrapwork Mutt, a 2-1 artifact creature, so it can also be sacrificed to our Trash for Treasure, and when it enters we may discard a card if we do draw a card, so another discard outlet, and we can also unearth it for 1 and a red. So if we already have a Grass on the battlefield and maybe a Mutt in the graveyard, then making a hasty Mutt with unearth means we have an additional 5 powered attacker, which can also make a difference. And then a 4 copies of Goblin Engineer is kind of the glue that holds the deck together. As a 1-2, when it enters the battlefield we can search our library for any artifact card and put it into our graveyard. So this can find the 1 of Portal to Phyrexia or Platinum Angel if we need it, or simply get our grass if we don't have one already in the graveyard. And then we can also pay a red, tap the Engineer and sacrifice an artifact to return an artifact card with mana value 3 or less from our graveyard to the battlefield. So while it won't be able to get back our expensive artifacts, we can still get back like a Synthesizer, a Scrap Work mode or even a Dark Steel Citadel if we sacrifice an artifact. And the final artifact is Phyrexian Dragon Engine, which also has a great synergy with Engineer and with our portal to Phyrexia, because it's a 2-2 double strike, and when it enters a battlefield from our graveyard, we may discard our hand if we do draw three cards, so it can also be a nice source of card advantage, and we can also unearth it for three and double red, but for the most part we prefer bringing it back with Engineer or Portal so it doesn't get exiled end of turn, so we can keep looping it back. And then a full set of Seasoned Pyromancer, which is another very important card in this deck, 2-2. Two, two. When it enters, we discard two cards, that's not optional, and then we draw two cards. 
For each non-land card discarded this way, we get to make a 1-1 elemental token. can also pay 5 mana, exile the Pyromancer from our graveyard to make two 1-1 elemental tokens. So that can help us go wide to set up a big board to eventually turn all those creatures into 5-powered attackers to close out the game. If we play Pyromancer with an empty hand, we still get to draw two cards, so that can also work out nicely. But for the most part, we don't mind discarding cards like Scrapwork, Mutt and Looting to still make the elementals, and then Looting and Mutt still provide utility from the graveyard. And then our mana base has a few goodies with four copies of Den of the Bugbear. If we animate this while we have a grass in play, the land itself is still going to be a 3-2, but as soon as we make the goblin token, the goblin will turn into a 5-3 juggernaut, so that can still deal a lot of extra damage. And then two copies of Crucible, even though it is legendary and we can't have two in play at the same time, we can channel it, potentially for a reduced cost if we control the legendary grass, and then we can make two hasty 1-1 tokens that can also turn into 5 power juggernauts, so those also have excellent synergy with the grass and then as we mentioned citadel is another artifact to maybe sacrifice to trash for treasure and 12 basic mountains so that's our deck now let's jump in some games and see how the deck does okay we're on the draw hand seems promising some early creatures that make artifacts and then help us discard the grass to set up our trash for treasure turn on elf so for points on elf tribal it's possible that grass is not going to be good enough, and then we'll need to find our Platinum Angel instead. Looks like a Devotion deck as well. Some more classic Devotion. Kyura untaps Elves to play another one, presumably. Alright, another Trench for Treasure will be helpful. So discard Grass, and then next turn we can bring it back. And then the Goblin Engineer can... Uh, potentially put something else in the graveyard to reanimate. So now that we know we're up against the Green Devotion instead of Elves, Platinum Angel not looking all that great anymore, but I could see Portal to Phyrexia being effective. So just a Paradise Root here for Devotion on Nykthos. Although for the time being I'm kind of liking Grass as well, make two 5-3s. Could just be awkward if our opponent plays a Cavalier at some point, which can block our 5-3s profitably. But for now we would be taking out Kiora, which prevents a lot of mana from Nykthos. Since we can't quite get the portal in play this turn, it would take us another turn to set up. Both at Kiora seems fine, opponent's probably gonna let it go. And then hopefully no Cavalier or Storm the Festival into Cavalier. Alright, there's Cavalier of Thorns. So that can block our 5-3s quite well. One card left in hand. And nothing too exciting to get back with Cavalier once it dies at least. Ooh, Platinum Angel. Yeah, we'll start by attacking. And then Engineer can put maybe a Portal to Phyrexia in the graveyard, or could also go with the uh, Dragon Engine, which is something we can actually get back with the Engineer itself. But let's attack first and see which creature dies. Blocks Epicure, makes sense. Or they could trade for Grass, which also works for me. And then Elves Chumps. Epicure dies once it's no longer 5-3, leaving Mutt in play to sacrifice to a Trash for Treasure. And Cavalier going for Troll. So we're putting stop decking a Troll, which means, yeah, getting a Portal to Phyrexia seems good. So, Sacrifice Mutt, get back Portal, there's no other artifacts for us to get back with Engineer first. And our opponent concedes, alright, Portal cleaning up the entire board, on to the next one. Okay, we're on the play, and our hand's missing a Trash for Treasure, Engineer can put something else in the graveyard. But I think this is still probably a mulligan. Okay, we've got our trash, we've got 
Looting to hit our land drops, Epicure to make an artifact. I'll keep. And then Grass, we want to discard with a looting, since we don't have an engineer to find something else. So we'll keep Grass, probably get rid of the Synthesizer. And then I could looting on one, could play Epicure first. Okay, maybe get a, an extra point of damage in. Okay, Legion's landing, so maybe a token deck. Cast looting. Grass and maybe one Pyromancer can go. And then highest upside is just playing another Epicure and top decking a land next turn. Alternative was sacking the blood token, but then I also wouldn't have an artifact in play to uh, sacrifice to trash for treasure in the first place. Opponent took the one damage, even though we didn't really want to trade. So maybe a black-white tokens deck. Don't want to play Pyromancer if we are forced to discard trash for treasure. Ooh, and a thought sees, yep. At least if they take trash and we draw lands, now Pyromancer will draw two. So that's not the worst. Synthesizer can maybe hit my land drop. Alright. And then... Can attack with one Epicure. Celebrant, okay, so it's more of a sacrifice deck than a tokens deck. And another landing to make a 1-1. One -one. Fair enough. Take our turn. And yeah, Pyromancer will have to discard Voltage Surge, could also kill the Celebrant first. Although that feels like we're not making enough progress, and I want to dig for my Trash for Treasure. So, I'm just gonna play Pyromancer here. Can sacrifice Synthesizer next turn as well. I've got a few blood tokens to sacrifice. Can flashback looting. So, we have a couple options. Dice out to double death triggers from Celebrant. but they don't have any good attack into the 2-2 Pyromancer. Okay, Synthesizer, probably step one, since we can still cast a Trash for Treasure if we exile it. Found a land, which is still fine. And then Flashback Looting probably gives me the best chance of comboing next turn. Can play an Epicure or can hang on to it. And discard it with a blood token, which I think I prefer. But our opponent's building up their own synergies here. Thought sees. I could activate blood token in response, hoping to draw lands, which they wouldn't be able to take away. Although if I actually draw the card I want to draw, they can take it away. I think it's still worth it to go for it. Alright, so now Thought Seize misses. And the extra card represents something else we can discard to Mutt or a Blood Token. So it has some real value. Second Celebrant starts adding up with Taisa. So I wouldn't mind finding a Voltage Surge. Opponent's attacking to transform Legion's Landing. So I'll just block a Celebrant. I don't think I'm trading for the 1-1s. One -ones. So our opponent gets a bunch of Death Triggers. Okay, there's Voltage Surge, so that kills Taisa. Sack Synthesizer. And there's our Trash for Treasure, perfect. So that will sacrifice our blood token. And then I can even unearth the mud to have another 5 powered attacker. So 
our opponent will have to chum block. And we shouldn't be in any danger on the way back. Alright, so despite a lot of hand disruption here, we still managed to get there. Okay, we're on the draw. Our hand can generate some creatures, but missing most of the combo pieces here. Although Pyromancer and Mutts will help us find more. So I'll still try it out. And then at least we're applying a bit of pressure too. Facing a green deck, maybe Elves. So this could be a matchup where we want to get our Angel. For now Grass isn't bad. So we're still on track to reanimate it on turn 3 if we top deck Trash for Treasure. And we'll hit for 1. Alright, I guess it's a mutate deck instead. So now Portal to Phyrexia, maybe one of the more appealing options. Okay, probably go for Pyromancer since we can't cast looting and trash for treasure in the same turn. And then I'll keep a 1 mana looting in hand since we can still cast that, plus a 3 mana trash for treasure. Should we top deck it? One can use Castle to maybe mutate Asterix now, and yeah, that's where things get kind of scary. Put multiple permanents in play. Looks like two lands. Okay, another grass we can discard. Nowhere close to hard casting it. No trash for treasure. Engineer can put something useful in the graveyard at least. And then plan to maybe put a dragon engine in the graveyard to draw as opposed to going for a portal, which at this point may not be good enough if our opponent finds a few creatures with Asterix that they can sacrifice instead. So Grass can go, and maybe Looting at this point. Play Engineer, Tap to Den. And we'll get the Dragon Engine. Since we could go for Portal, we could go for Angel, but I suspect our opponent will have answers to the Angel, Poseju potentially, but even the uh, author mutate creature that destroys artifacts or enchantments. Double Sterix, yeah. So that's a lot of triggers coming up. Opponent found an Ugin, so goodbye our entire board. And double Great Horn. And a foreign clex, because why not? Opponent just killing a mutt. Okay. Platinum Angel does not really help here. Next turn opponent can ultimate Ugin. So what are my options? Play a land, engineer back, dragon engine. And then I could still trash for treasure. Although... It's not like Grass is gonna win me the game here. So maybe we go for Angel after all. And then hope to buy time to set up something more powerful afterwards. Could still play Epicure. Since I'll still have the mana to do everything. Okay, there's our Trash for Treasure. So bring back our Angel, so we don't immediately lose the game, since Grass only lets us attack with two 5-powered creatures that die to the 6-6s. Six and then sacrifice Dragon Engine to maybe get back again next turn. Other opponent can ultimate Ugin, and I don't think Angel's gonna save us necessarily. Nissa comes into play, can ultimate right away. Get all the force out of the deck before Ugin ultimates in the same turn. So yeah, opponent's deck is operating at full capacity. Paradise Druid with Hexproof, perfect target to mutate early. So they curved out perfectly here, even with the castle giving them a small mana boost. 
And that's a lot of stuff in play now. So Portal to Phyrexia is not looking great. Our only hope is that they cannot remove Platinum Angels somehow. Be wary of the ground you walk on. But a Jam Racer is exactly what I feared. So that will destroy Platinum Angel. And once the Angel is gone, I don't think we stand a chance. Alright, GG's. We're not going to have their fun here. 14 Loyalty Ugin entering the battlefield. Grays are also good early mutates targets, helping you ramp. And a Vivian. So, I guess our opponent does have 9 cards remaining if we can somehow mill them out. If they ultimate another Ugin here, but they're gonna plus 2 that one. Vivian pluses. I love making new friends. And that's a pretty substantial attack. This one doesn't trample. And that still has me taking 16. And then we can double check here, but I don't think there's a way for us to survive. Engineer, bring back Dragon Engine to draw. And then even if we somehow string together a portal, that's not going to get us anywhere. But we can see what the next cards were. Alright, another Pyromancer. Okay, GG's. Always fun to see the opponent go off as well. Ugin can plus us down to one, and an all-out attack will do it. On to the next one. Okay, we're on the draw. Not gonna turn down Engineer into Trash for Treasure, and a Synthesizer to Sacrifice. Usually I don't play Synthesizer on turn 1 since I want to get my value, potentially exile a land with it, but in this case we just want to make sure we have an artifact to sacrifice on turn 3. Although now Epicure is an even better draw. So not sure what we're up against. If they're a creature deck I might go for Portal. Could go for a Grass. Barbarian, so they're ramping into something. Not sure what. Scrapwork Mutt doesn't have anything exciting to discard, so I think Engineer for probably just Portal. As opposed to Grass. Although if I get Grass, we can be attacking for 10 next turn, which is kind of fun. Alright, let's go for it. I may regret this, but uh, it's definitely the more exciting play. So potentially 5 mana here, thanks to the Barbarian, take 2. And a Fable. Could Voltage Surge one of the opponent's creatures, but we're here to attack with our Juggernauts. And then next turn we can maybe clear a path. If it seems like we don't have any great attacks, I can always activate the Engineer instead of attacking with it. Epicure doesn't really have that choice. So we'll see what they discard here. Land Barbarian. So opponent is playing black as well. And there's a Prosperous Innkeeper. A fine chum blocker. And another Fable, sacrificing the Barbarian. Well, if I just kill one of the opponent's creatures, if there's no interaction, opponent's going to be forced to double chump. Assemble the team as a tutor effect. But uh, now they seem pretty dead to the Voltage Surge. 
And even more exciting is channeling Crucible to make some hasty five-powered creatures instead. Alright, awesome. On to the next one. Okay, we're on the draw. Missing something big to reanimate. But looting and mud can help find one of those. Engineer could also help if we find it at some point. Turn 1 Inquisition probably takes our trash for treasure. So that's a setback. But at least we can apply a bit of pressure with the mods. Synthesizer can be a 2 for 1. And the uh, Pyromancer is good too. So we could loot. Could wait now. And then just play mods discarding. Maybe a looting. Because we want to keep spells in hand to make tokens with the Pyromancer. And looting is card disadvantage at the end of the day. So Grixis control it seems. And our point with the Founding, so they might be playing See the Truth as something that can draw three with it. Break Expectations, another discard spell. Can grab our Pyromancer. And what do we get in return? Nothing spectacular. So I guess Weapon Rank might be the plan here. Although most likely just discarding it to the Mutts. All right, there's our engineer. So that can put something exciting in the graveyard. Crackling Drake, good synergy with Founding as well. Another discard spell. That's the third one. But our deck's pretty resilient since we have a lot of discard and draw effects ourselves. Mutsu discards grass, and then could still looting, could synthesizer first, although wouldn't be able to trash for treasure afterwards. So maybe we're going to be patient here. Okay. Cast looting. And there's trash for treasure. And do I want to keep Citadel as maybe an artifact to sacrifice? Sure. As opposed to Crucible, which could also be good once we get grass in play. So next turn we could attack for 10 damage. Although, never mind. Upon on getting back Inquisition, we'll get rid of our trash for treasure after all. Well, at least our opponent doesn't have anything going for them. So we can just start beating down with our mutts. And, uh, yeah, question is whether we flashback looting or just play mud discard citadel at this point. Not sure if there's a sweeper I should be playing around. Very much possible. I think playing Mutt's still worth it since it shortens the clock by a turn. So play Mutt's and then... Yeah, I think I discard Citadel. Okay, Dragon Engine's not bad. Iteration to go digging. So unlike some other combo decks, at least our backup plan of beating down with uh, small creatures gives us a way to win the game. If the opponent's deck is all disruption, but no actual way to stop the creatures, we can still maybe get there. Opponent found a fetch land to gain one life. And we get to untap, attack for six. And play Dragon Engine. And then at least if they were to wipe the board somehow and we draw land, we can unearth the Dragon Engine and draw three. Ooh, Tainted Pact makes a lot of sense. Opponents playing all one-offs. So Tainted Pact plus Thassa's Oracle can win the game if they get rid of their entire library. Jace also win condition alongside Tainted Pact if they don't have a library left. And yeah, there's another Tainted Pact. So that should win them the game. I guess you can get away with two Tainted Pacts. 
So they're going to exile their entire library, and then Jace draws with its passive. If they draw with an empty library, they win the game. So they just needed to stall for time to set up this combo. But yeah, if they didn't build their deck properly, it's possible they hit a card they already exiled. And therefore don't get to combo off. So I'm going to be patient to make sure they actually get there. Can have a look at the exiled cards. So yeah, they presumably only have two copies of Tainted Pact since as soon as they play a third they would risk hitting a Tainted Pact instead of being able to exile their whole library. Alright, so now Jay should win the game since they will mill two cards before drawing so they don't need to exile the last one. On to the next one. Okay, we're on the draw. Missing our Trash for Treasure. Is this hand good enough? Got an Epicure as an early artifact generator and discard outlet. Can put Angel in the graveyard. Engineer maybe going for Dragon Engine. We've got a bit of interaction. So, might be good enough to keep. So we'll start with Epicure. Turn to Engineer. Haven't decided yet what to put in the graveyard, but Dragon Engine, definitely an option. So let's attack first. And Engineer is cut down. So, could still go for Dragon Engine since we can unearth it at 5. Although now I'm potentially more into the idea of putting Grass or Portal in the graveyard. Good Synthesizer for a bit of card advantage. Yeah, it's a close call. I'll go for Portal. And then we can potentially put to good use as well. Go for Synthesizer. Potentially better off waiting an extra turn in case we exile a trash for treasure since I wouldn't be able to cast it right now. Can play a land now. Attack for one and pass. And then I could also see sacking the blood token to discard Platinum Angel. Chupacabra kills Epicure. That's okay. Could also Voltage Surge sacking the Synthesizer. So you don't have to pay 3 mana for it. And then we don't get a token, but we get to maybe exile a Trash for Treasure that I can still cast afterwards. Although now with the looting, we'll start there. There's our Trash for Treasure, perfect. So Platinum Angel can go alongside Scrapwork Mutts. And then we can trash back Portal, sacking a Blood Token. And then bringing back Chupacabra with Portal gives us more removal. And we can bring back our Platinum Angel with it as well. Mono black, not really known for its answers to artifacts. And if we bring back Engineer, we can go for a Dragon Engine as well. Which can then draw us three cards if we bring it back with Portal. Can eventually get Grass. It's going to be more effective once we make a few tokens first. So Portal back. Probably start with Engineer. And then to Grass or not to Grass. I think I go for Dragon Engine first. Play a tap to Den. Can uh, unearth a Mutt as well if we'd like. Or we can keep Mutt in the graveyard or something to get back with Portal. But we'll find more stuff. Okay. Attack for two and pass. And 
and then we can Voltage Surge if needed. If not, we can just uh, discard it to the Dragon Engine next turn. Could Voltage Surge my own Engineer. So the opponent fizzles its adventure, so they cannot cast a Murderous Rider. And since I'm planning to discard the Voltage Surge to the Dragon Engine, that seems okay. Okay, another Trash for Treasure, and another Den. So I activate Den, play another one, seems fine. We'll make a token, assuming there's no Fatal Push. And then the next step would be get back Engineer, put Grass in the Graveyard, and then Trash can get it back. And then we can still Crucible in the same turn as well, as we'll control a Legendary. Pestilent Haze, giving creatures minus two, minus two. Bit of a setback. Can get back Engineer still. Putting in the Graveyard the Unstoppable Juggernaut. Another Crucible is nice. So a Sack Synthesizer, bringing back Graz. Play a land for free. And Channel Crucible for 10 damage. Not a bad way to recover from a Sweeper. And now between Double Den and another Crucible we should be able to close out the game. So the Mono Black Control deck not really finding a card draw engine to pull ahead. Five mana. What's next? Heroes down, fall on grass. No problem. We'll just bring it back next turn. All right, so we get to see our mono red trash for treasure grass deck in action. And overall, while it may not be the most competitive historic deck, it can certainly win some games. And it can win games in style, since attacking with 5-3 Juggernauts is incredibly satisfying. So that'll do it for today's gameplay. want to thank you for watching, hope you enjoyed, and as always, have a nice day. I also want to thank all my patrons for being part of the channel, and you can become a patron yourself today and decide the topic of future videos over at patreon.com forward slash legendvd.